Hi, welcome to the Stuck in It Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jane Hitman. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run It. And this is episode 211. The one with good lighting. Yeah. <laughs> Recording during the day, and I'm a little distracted by the people walking by. Yep, yeah, there's a school across the street, and there's a runner. And yeah, I was like, is somebody coming up to the door? <laughs> it did kind of look like she it was. It did, but at night we we get people going by as well. It's just, it's just it's harder to see them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Life has been crazy, um, birthdays and dental work and whatnot, so we decided to try a different during the daytime where we could make it work. Yep. So, um, how have things been with you? Good. Yep. I think I've decided to buy a loom, like a little laptop loom, um, a rigid little loom. But, um, yeah, I need to like actually make up my mind. Uh, and what is pushing you that direction? My hand spun is sitting there not getting worked with. And mm -hmm. I think if I had another way to consume other than knitting or crocheting, I think I might actually use my hand spun. Mm -hmm. um, and it would be kind of interesting to play and experiment with um, a loom. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I don't know. That's kind of where I waver. It's like, well, is that a good reason to pick up another thing? And yeah. So that's been on my mind. Yeah. And then we've got a lot of retreat stuff going on. So we do indeed. It is taking up every spare moment that I can um, that I can throw at it. Yeah. Um, in addition to my family, this is my birthday craziness. So um, Dexter's birthday went well. He um, was very happy. We went over and read stories and um, with his class, which I think was a fun. I, I don't know if I mentioned that last time or not. Did we record? Okay. Um, he enjoyed his socks. He really loved his socks. Um, I, we were sitting up reading the story, and Jeremy was wearing a pair of hand knit socks. I was wearing a pair of hand knit socks, <laughs> and Dexter was wearing a pair of hand knit socks. Um, and then my husband's birthday is a week after his, so um, mm -hmm. this past Wednesday, and we went um, to Cannon Falls and biked, biked, biked. Um, to Cannon, from Cannon Falls to Red Wing is about 20 some miles, um, which turns out to be about 10 miles too long for me on the there and back, <laughs> <laughs> considering that I haven't biked in eons. Um, but my husband, you know, he keeps his bicycling legs about him because he's constantly biking, so. I powered through it because we had to get home because um, it ended up being kind of a longish day. We didn't get up there until, you know, pre-lunch and then we didn't get to Red Wing until lunch. We ate at the Stag's Head, which was fantastic. They had a Brussels sprout salad mm -hmm. that was, it was like cooked Brussels sprouts, but it was cooked in like bacon mm -hmm. and, and like something like a maybe a maple sauce. Mm -hmm. It was so delicious. And then I got a beet salad and Jeremy got like a bunch of stuff, so he was too full. Um, but we were going to try to go to the Red Wing Brewery, but it was closed um, until hmm. like four, so they must uh, not get a good lunch crowd. Yeah. But I was glad because I liked the Stag's Head. They had coffee and mm -hmm. um, they have lots of beers on tap, and um, so it was good. It was good. It was a lot of biking, um, but it was good. <laughs> Tried to just do a bajillion things once we got home. Got him a cake. Got went and got a movie. Took the kids to tennis. Made, just let him sit and hang out at home. So I tried really hard to make it a special day, even though it wasn't like a huge occasion. So mm -hmm. yep. And then work and retreat has been, have been crazy, and um, it's finally warming up here. Yes, it's been beautiful the last two days. Yep, nice and hot. Yes, and um, yeah, completely in love with. Oh yeah, that's right. My all birds um, have bought a pair for my brother, have bought a pair for my mom and dad. My mom fit her perfectly and she absolutely loves them. And my dad, they were a little bit too small, so I've got to figure out the whole oh, exchange okay. process. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for, I think so. for all birds. They're, they're pretty fantastic. Um, but that's um, foreshadowing enabling because we've got all kinds of fantastic stuff. Yep. For you guys. For you guys. So, the spring green cow wrapped up, which was March and April. Um, that was anything green. Um, and we had 187 FOs. Woot, woot. Loving on the green. It's a happy thread for me. Um, and then we don't do um, a KAL as part of the podcast 
um, leading up to the retreat. So maybe post-retreat we'll announce something mid-June for mm -hmm. the rest of June and July and August, but we take the next few months off. Um, so those prizes, we had three fabulous prizes. I've got the self-striping on the top, of course. Um, the Silver Shed USA has a wonderful green tastic bag with butterflies. And this is her medium wedge. Mm -hmm. Medium wedge. Um, the Fantabulous out of Canada Maple Moose Fibers sent us this wonderfully sheepy uh, green bag. It's got some sheep stitch markers in there and some maple candy that's made out of... Um, where she's out of, and now I'm not remembering where that is, and then some, some maple tea, I believe. Um, so maple candy, maple tea, maple moose fibers. Thank you, thank you to her. And then I kind of, I pulled out this hat pattern, which is for DK, but I thought this yarn, I pulled this out of my stash, it's a little too muted for my palette, so I thought somebody could um, make this hat. It'd be a fun little pairing. Uh, might need to go down like a needle size or go up a head size or something because it's a little thinner yarn, but you could use it and not make the hat. But this is Taking Root by Alana Dacos, and she sent this fabulous, um, very sturdy pattern mm -hmm. to us. All right, so that's three prizes for the Spring Green Cowl, um, 2 through 187, and the winners are going to contact us um in um with their preference so mm -hmm. whether or not they want the butterfly bag the sheet bag or the hat kit and we'll get those sent out to you straight away the winners were 39 125 and 42 as drawn by um random number generator psychic science yeah using my phone oh you have a you have an app no oh psychic science on my okay <laughs> so number 39 is Ange in the east and she is angela and she knit a very pretty um was it turquoisey cowl mm -hmm. uh number 125 is cl maddox that's charity and she knit some very pretty socks and number f no that was number 42 125 is i wrote a hodgepodge yeah. sorry out of order there we were doing it numerical order so um Ange in the east is 39 um, CL Maddox is 42 and 125 is Judith R105 and she knits some socks as well. Yep. So do you want me to take these, Miss Amy? Yeah. Okay. I will send those out to you. Let me know. Um, first come, first serve. So if you want the hat, say hat. And then the order of the bags and um, I'll let you know the order with which you contacted me. That's either Just Run It um, on Ravelry or Megan at Stackin' at Zombies via email. Alrighty, and then another wonderful month of self-striping goodness has occurred. We've got the wonderful um, Bijou Basin Ranch um, Yak. You better feel this one last time mm -hmm. before it jumps yeah. off. Yak self-striping as um, dyed up by Mode Knit. And then the Suburban Stitcher. Um, very cute little rabbit bag with flowers. <laughs> got a nice little pole on it. Um, and then two patterns from my pattern store, and that was 2 through 7.30, so, and there's four winners, so just 2 through 7.30. Uh, 76 is Bridger Knitter, that's Brittany. Uh, 260 is Willow Creek Farm. Number 436 is Jenna with a G. And number 641 is Knit Pearl Girl, and that's Courtney. So, again, same modus operandi there. Contact um, me with your preference. If you'd like the bag, say bag. If you'd like the Bijou Basin Ranch, say Bijou Basin Ranch Yak Yarn. Um, and I'll get that sent out. And if you'd like the pattern, and I'll let you know. All of the prizes, all of the prizes. Um, and that's in Ministrati. We have a review of a Q needle case that they very um, wonderfully sent us. And I've got some enabling. Yep. And we're going to review the um, CC Almond yep. Coffee with CC. I think um, what I'll say about this bag right now is that I have two bags at home that are housing my double points and my uh, circular needles. And I'm going to try to consolidate down to this one uh, item and then review it the next time we re report. Oh, okay, cool. So um, just to give you a little preview, it's got a center panel with um, 
spots for the circular needles and then it's got and these. Zipper. Yep, and a zipper mm -hmm. pouch. Yep. Notions or maybe um, if you have yeah, cords. Yeah, cords. Like and then you can stick um, your double points on this side. I believe it's a double point. It's not an interchangeable type mm -hmm. of bag. And uh, yeah, so I again, I have these in two different cases now and I think it would be fun to try to consult it. They have some really pretty prints. I really liked yeah. um, that one. I, I chose that for you, I guess. Thank you. It's purple. <laughs> it's purple and it's got like a fun, like almost a uh, lacy or crochet. Lattice. Lattice, yes. yep. So anyway, so I'm going to do a thorough review. I'm going to go home and try to consolidate the bags down into this one and let you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Do you have any of those? I do not. Okay. Um, I we are recording midday and I lost my head so I didn't bring my knitting bag so all I have is my purse sock and um, so I, the only thing that I did finish was my April hex okay so I have on. my four ding ding. hex done ching ching. Yep. and uh, I started the um, fifth immediately because it's a new pattern right it's a new chart that I haven't mm. done before so I was like oh new chart excitement so I cast on that right away about. got to pick out the because it was a little bit different colors too mm -hmm. so I got to you know change out the colors that were in the bag and there's four of that one so it's gonna be you know the next four months of the same thing so mm -hmm. get get in there while the excitement's happening mm -hmm. and, um, but yeah that's all I had done and I apologize. It looks just like the the other hex that I did. So okay. <laughs> um, I finished my Irish coffee out of the Malabrigo Rios in the Indesita colorway. Um, I believe last time I just had the the sleeves to do. Um, the sleeves uh, decreased pretty rapidly, and I decided to um, Amy Herzog it up. She said that you want your sleeves to kind of. Um, end where you want it to point on your body, kind of like your haircut. If you have your hair really short and it points to your cheek and you've got chubby cheeks, it really draws in your interest to the cheeks. Um, so I wanted it to be kind of mid-bust here to point that I actually do have a bust. Um, the Malabrigo Rios was wonderful to work with and washed up. It got a little flopsy, so um, I don't know if I'm going to end up kind of drying this but I did not stretch it or block it at all I just kind of laid it flat as I am I want to do and um, the, it got a little floppy at the neckline so either I can um, put like an I cord mm -hmm. um, not I cord like a crocheted edging to kind of tighten it up at the neckline or I can try popping it into the dryer a little bit but um, ribbing is a lot stretchier right so it makes sense it just it's pretty stark contrast when I took a picture of it before and then after like this was all kind of gathered in and, and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, form fitting up here. And now it's very, I don't have the best shirt to try it on with my work shirt, but it's very open. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a real open up top person. So <laughs> <laughs> Amy gets the V-necks and I get the cruise. <laughs> Um, and then I finished my son's, um, my other son's, the brother socks, um, that match brothers but are shorter, um, and short, shorter in foot length and shorter in leg length because he likes his socks shorter. Although he tried to claim that he wanted really long socks and his brother who normally wears knee socks every single day wanted to claim that he wanted short socks. So I don't know if like it was just the novelty of being able to tell me that they wanted something that I wasn't expecting but um he wore those and threw those down the chute already so <laughs> <laughs> they are away um and then the next week's socks this week's socks because those were kind of a short week um of socks are these are Hermione's every day out of the um Blue Moon Fiber Arts this is kind of a sporty type base to me it's their socks that rock lightweight but it's still it was knitting up iron proof mm -hmm. um i knit my um the confetti the cat that i took with me to ryan back out of it because it was knitting up on one's like stuffy mm -hmm. quality so this these are on one and a half and i went up to or i went down to i think this is 52 stitches mm -hmm. um she's got a size nine foot so i'm hoping eventually that you could try this on but they're for my hairdresser mm -hmm. because i always sit and do my knit my socks as she's doing them and so um don't look too closely but i'm going to need to go to the hairdresser next week <laughs> and i'll give them to her then so um and that's a it's an obsession it's a collection not an obsession 
mm -hmm. is the colorway. And I thought it, looked, right. it did really well with the Hermione's. Just a few little pearl bumps here and there. And yeah, so two pair of socks. Been, the socks have been going with me and I've been catching a few rows here and there, um, as well as um, some design stuff. Okay. So you've been doing some design stuff as well. I've got two designs currently on the needles. So, yep. Um, I, I, I hesitate to call the second one a design. It's just that I cast on a sock and I was like, what am I gonna do? And I didn't really wanna follow a pattern, so I just started doing something. Mm -hmm. and, and now I'm liking what I'm seeing, and so I was like, oh, I could write this down. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I did cast on a new pair of socks on May 4th because it was the Obi-Wan Knitter colorway from mm -hmm. Dancing Dog Dye Works. Um, so that was my fun, just want to make plain sock, um, crazy uh, colors uh, choice. Uh, it came with a bright orange heel and toe, so I'm excited about that. And then uh, I, I did cake up some stuff from um, Dreams and Fiber, um, but haven't cast that on quite yet. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. So the socks actually did grow quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I am almost done, and I will have a pair of Buddy the Elf socks. Yay, finally, my Christmas socks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then I just uh, row here, row there on everything else. Like, yep. oh, I'm going to knit the, I still haven't gotten done with the border on my um, breathing space. Like, all I need is another, like, half inch of um, border and I can cast off and do sleeves. And it's going to be so quick, quick when I finally get, put my mind to it. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I just haven't had the time. Mm-hmm. I've been working on mucho other things, so yeah, including the top secret design thing. So mm -hmm. cool, cool. Um, I don't have a great deal to show off. Um, in addition to, I, I feel like this time of year I always have a um, like a top design on the needles, <laughs> um, but then something for um, the retreat. I also cast on this, and I don't remember when I cast it on, but when I was looking oh. in my project thing, um, this is another of the pinch of shawls out of the um, uh, Vinnie Newman Fiber Arts, but the colorway is Don't You Know. Don't you know. Um, I, I thought that one was the You Betcha. Okay, You Betcha. Because Don't You Know, I think that was the purple one. Okay, from last year. You Betcha. I, but again, I, You Betcha. Um, I cast this on with the fives that it called for and the yarn. Um, I believe I've done something with this before. So not only has it been knit with and ripped out, um, I think I may have soaked in, um, mm. it, but it's also like a, like a, a less dense space, right? It's like 460 yards. So it's, it's a lot closer to the 500 than the 400 mark. Mm -hmm. um, and so then I went, ended up going down to a different needle size. Um, and then it was dead to me for a little bit. <laughs> because size I was three. Like, size threes, yep. Because I liked the way that the fabric was. Uh, I mean, a lot of the length is this way, right? Mm -hmm. So it, this is just making the depth a little skinnier. But I liked the way the garter looked and the turns and the short rows and whatnot. So, yes, it's important. It will look very nice when I actually have time to devote to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then um, this is the Sun Valley Fiber Arts high twist base that I had leftovers from and uh, Miss Ellie decided that she liked it but I knew that I wasn't going to get much of a sock out of it for her. Um, so I'm calling these Ellie Rose Rollers. <laughs> um, they're basically the spacious OMG heel um, and then I just continued um, toe up uh, until there was about two inches, inch and a half after the heel turn and bound off. So um, I just in case took what I had left and split it in two so I would know where I could end. Um, but if it went any higher, I think that the roll would get too substantial. Mm -hmm. Like it would look like you were purposely, it went like olive oil. Yeah, it wouldn't look too as it was supposed to. So I just stopped even though it could have added a little bit of length. And she was wearing these yesterday and was like, Mom, can you even the end so I can just wear this sock? I love this sock. And I was like, well, I need it to be able to <laughs> sell the, the, the other side. Like, and again, I've got her foot cut out, so um, I put the date on it. 
that I can remember that this was the size of her foot when she was this age. It's narrow feet. My she kids, does. My kids would have, yeah, yep. much bigger feet. <laughs> yep, so she's basically wearing the same width of foot. Um, and you should see her shoes. Oh, Lord. As the, the boys, sorry, I'll complete a sentence. But, like, she's got the laces. Like, like, like they're, they're, like, tucking. yeah, inter interlocked, basically, because her foot is so thin. And I think I've always had kind of, um, like, thinner ankles. Like, the stuff on, the thing, uh, the ankles on stuff rubs on me. But, yeah, that's been fun. And that she loves them. And um, I, I have recently become aware with these shoes, if I can, if I can segue, um, that I had a big issue with wearing, like, um, I used to say that it was because I kind of have big, big calves. Mm -hmm. um, I've got runners, calves. Um, well, so, some runners have really lean legs, mm -hmm. but I've got big calves, that I wouldn't wear um, capris because it would show off that I kind of have big calves. But I really think it's because I don't know what to do with socks. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like the really short ones because, like I said, my ankle kind of slips in the shoes. Oop, and then I end up, um, the socks end up just going down into the shoe. So I don't like the no-show socks. Um, but now, like, these Allbirds have totally opened up a new world of capris for me. Oh. Because I don't have to wear socks. See, and I just wear flats, like ballet flats. Hmm. You know, the shoe that... Yeah, that but I, I think that rubs on the top of my foot funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have special feet. I do have special feet. <laughs> my mom can tell you from a very young age, I was very particular about the way socks the seams rubbed on my foot and the way that shoes fit me mm -hmm. um but yeah so i got my Allbirds. they um are pricey but they um are fantastic they are basically like a sock that has a sole on it and laces um and i've just worn them everywhere um they're doubles they're like a patent pending double-sided wool mm -hmm. fabric they're super light um, and they like wool, they don't get stinky. Um, this is a, the green color. It'd be a good test for your kiddos, right? Yeah. Well, but, but they don't, yeah, but they don't have kids yet. Oh. Wah, wah. I don't know if they think like the, the price point. Could be the price point. That they, that people wouldn't buy them, but they're a company out of San Francisco. Um, I heard about them through, uh, Claire Parks did a knitter's review of them and featured them. Um, They've got limited colors now in the women's. I think that they've gotten enough good press amongst the knitters and whatnot that um, the women's colors and sizes are getting a little picked over. So I think the gray is all black, back order. They don't even have the blue listed anymore. Um, but if you've got a big enough woman's size, they their sizes are interchangeable with the men's. You just end up getting a men's size nine if you're a, a larger uh, women's size and they have a lot in those so like a really pretty New Zealand blue um, mm -hmm. that I got for both of my parents um, and they look pretty awesome my brother um, metropolitan um, New NYC guy got the gray ones mm -hmm. um, and they've got yes the women's gray ones are kind of backward but yeah I'm just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs I just they're just so soft and lightweight and I've just been wearing them everywhere. I wear them indoors, I wear them outdoors, I wear them walking, I wear them in a house, I wear them with a mouse, I wear them in a box, I wear them with a box. Yeah, I, I like my no bowl, no bowl shoes. Um, they're a CrossFit shoe, but I have a similar situation that they're kind of a local small, or not local, but to me, but small and, and independent and um, so they get an order or shipment in and like the first size to sell out is mine kid you not so like the latest um the one that i really wanted to hit flowers on it anyway so the latest size from them or the latest shoe that they've announced is coming out next week and so i put it on my calendar just so that i'd have like a chance mm -hmm. like i might not take the chance but, you know, like, if my phone dings and I'm in the mood, I might actually get a pair because if I wait a day, mm -hmm. I, my size will be gone. Mm -hmm. Even even the men's, you know, because they had a flower shoe, no joke, had little daisies on it, super cute, loved it, had it in men's and women's, also loud. Hmm. I'm like, really? The men's? 
they bought the daisy shoes okay but i because that's what the first thing i did when my size was gone is i went over to the men's one and said can i get them and yeah. gone yeah i'm sure every woman said did the same thing but. yep um these are machine washable um so i'll let you know and they've got a money back guarantee that you can try them for 30 days and if you don't love them or if they don't wear like you would like them to um my dad's because they were they ended up being too small um that I just requested that they, you know, how do I exchange these? And they were basically like, here's the, the, you know, the free shipping label, slap that on there, and then you can, you know, order at, at your leisure. So they were super responsive to customer service. Um, and they have kind of a fit finder on their, um, on their site because they've had problems with fit, I think. So. And I will say that if you're a runner, the shoes are not expensive. Those shoes no. are not expensive. I don't know that I would run in them, though. I mean, like, I have specific running shoes. Right. But right. You're no, saying, just, like, if your bar is set to, yeah. Yeah, if your bar is set to Nikes, yep. you know, these aren't going to yep. be outrageously yep. expensive. But if you're used to just picking up a random shoe because, you know, whatever fits works and you're just, like... Mm -hmm. It's all right, I can pick it up at Walmart, I can pick it up at Target, they are expensive. Yeah. But again, if your threshold is like retail net Nikes, it's yep. about what they cost. It's, yep. it's not bad. Yeah, no, I absolutely love them. Like I said, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs decided that I wanted to get them for my whole family. My husband <laughs> was like, no, no, I don't need them. I've got enough. <laughs> <laughs> all the family that can have it. And then my daughter, kept, can you check today and see whether or not they have those all birds and kid sizes? And I was like, oh, sweetie, I just don't know that they're ever going to. But I mean, I guess I could put something out there. But um, I will say that, and it's not a terribly small company, but Vivo Barefoot, um, they have a New York office and a, and a UK office. And they have kids' shoes, and they are like kind of expensive, $60, $75. And they do pretty well. Mm -hmm. Um, it's because it's a specialty shoe, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, I mean, to be able to throw these in the washing machine for my kids would be a boon. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I, to me, it, it's it's really just like walking around wearing a really soft sock like that, that I can actually wear outside as well. It's just, they're just so comfy and light and airy and, um, yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully they hold up. Or maybe they did a small run and in testing they found out they weren't as durable, right? Like it'd be hard to keep a kid in them yeah, until yeah. they outgrew them or whatever. Because, you know, again, I can imagine my kids like dragging that wool part against gravel yep. and tearing it up. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I, my kids do things with shoes that I'm just like, that's why you have holes in your <laughs> toes. <laughs> You're dragging your toe on the cement. Do you realize that that? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe Ellie, I would because I think she right. knows. She would take care of she's, them. Yeah. So maybe they could do like a smaller size, like yeah. a size two and up or a size three and up. Yeah. Anyway, I've been stalking Show Me Yarn. Um, she was going to a uh, festival or a show or something and prepping for it and had all of these wonderful colorways and I kept on stalking her and stalking her, and stalking her. And this was one that I actually, you know, went out and and like you put made it on sure, my calendar yeah. made sure that I caught it because I just absolutely loved some of these colors so this is her um, boot heel base um, it's an 80-20 merino nylon and it's a self-striping jungle boogie so love those bright bright colors jungle boogie this one um, was uh, is very much my husband's colors mm -hmm. so it's the greens and the grays he will wear that bright green if you go out to Instagram and look at the picture I took him took of him on his birthday he wore this bright green but then it's also pickle springs <laughs> is the colorway which is, i believe is something in the show me state in missouri perhaps because some of her colorways are inspired by missouri landmarks so this will be something for my husband and i just absolutely that love that pop of bright green with the gray and the light gray and then this is one that again she just it, it, it enabled me so this is bell star um, and it's more of a speckle. Each each uh, stripe is a speckle. Mm -hmm. The turquoise and the yellow and the pink and the purple. Just can't even. Um, and 20 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty reasonable, really fun. Like I can't remember how many stripes each of these are, but that you know. Oh, they were 20 bucks. 28. Mm -hmm. Oh, 28. Yes. Did I say it? 
that eight got lost in Pretty eight to me. <laughs> so yeah, go out and check her out. Check her out. Said that like a Minnesotan. Sure did. Check her out. Um, and then we've got our bags that the wonderful Michelle from Maple Moose Fibers sent us from Canada. Eh? Yes, you've got your llamas and I've got my very grello. Something about the bottom being this kind of, it almost looks like it would be wallpaper, right? Like this would be mm -hmm. where the chair rail was. I don't, I don't know, I just really love it. It, it made me happy. Okay. Yeah, and we've got some wonderful stitch markers and Lucy progress marker and maple mm -hmm. tea and maple candy. I was going to see where she said she was out of. Because the maple candy was made from there in New Brunswick, Canada. She is Micker R. Micker at my Ravelry. And um, yes, very, very kind of her to send us these. Yes, yours is just adorable. Llama Love. Yes. Llama Love. And, and she was a very nice sponsor of RKIM as well. So, uh, last. But not least, well, actually not last. We were going to review the coffee with Cece. I thought we could talk about the retreat. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> We've been spending the majority of our time went on. Um, lighting might be a little weird. So everything that we're, I'm holding up might get a little washed out. Um, but Cece Almond sent us this wonderful book of seven patterns, right? A simple mm -hmm. sock pattern, um, four, five, five patterns, five patterned sock patterns and, and then a shawl so yes. seven total patterns mm -hmm. uh, retails for sixteen dollars if you only want the digital version and if you buy the um eighteen dollar uh book off of version, her website off of her website you can get the um digital copy with that it you know comes with it so very cute theme of a coffee date and lots of different coffee drinking options um do we want to go through so the french cappuccino lots of instructions on how to measure and what your foot length should be um there's toe up and cuff down option on this um on the french vanilla cafe and that's kind of the no french vanilla cappuccino um it's got some interesting texture per stripe on this version Very cutely styled. Oh, goodness, that's the espresso so, macchiato. I just skipped forward. Okay, the plain sock is the French vanilla um, cappuccino. Cappuccino. Yeah, with instructions on how to measure and where to measure, um, and a toe up and cuff down version for that. So two, two, two socks in one. And then the espresso macchiato um, socks are the ones with the texture per stripe. Um, in that version, and let's see, does it have a top down and, whoop, that's not what I wanted to do, top down and cuff, yep, toe up and cuff down version on that sock as well, so two, two, two socks in one. Uh, there is the peppermint mocha socks, um, really love this green and really love what it's doing with the variegation um, and the slipping of that strand so that you can kind of, it makes the Yep, gives it a nice texture. Yep. That's the peppermint mocha, and that has a toe up and cuff down as well, sensing a theme. <laughs> uh, there are the caramel latte socks. Let's see if I can get to a pretty pretty picture of them. First picture is probably the best. One. Okay. It's thinking, think, think, think. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Again, very cutely styled. I love me some coffee, so. Um, and we'll provide links so that you can go out and actually look at the picture again with the ambient light being so high. I don't know what the reflection scheme is going to be. Yeah. Um, anything you wanted to say about that? Uh, that one's a pretty heavily charted one, um, but pretty simple as far as techniques, um, knits and pearls. Um, so if you're looking to kind of up your game, up your sock game um, and practice a little bit on charts, that would be a good one. Um, this is the shawl, which is coffee date shawl, which is again very cutely named. 
And that is a, let's see, what is the shape on that one? I think it's a triangle, it's just a okay. yeah, symmetrical triangle. With some fun with texture and striping and three colors, one, two, three, light blue, dark blue, pink. And her hair matches. <laughs> How adorbs is that? Which came first, the hair or the shawl? The hair. I don't know. Maybe the I don't know. That's true. Which one? Cece, huh? Which one? Came yes. first? Inquiring minds want to know. Um, and I will say that when I was um, throwing together the um, Star Wars Day sock and I was trying to play with texture and um, just didn't didn't feel like doing a pattern or whatever. I just thought of Cece and like, oh, this might be how she was inspired to sit down and, and start her book. And mm -hmm. I don't know, just really impressive, you know, mm -hmm. make a book. Yeah. You too can sit down and make a book. Yeah. This, this is the strawberries and cream frappe socks. Again, some fun texture. It looks to me kind of, um, like it's doing fun things with the yarn like a monkey sock would do. Oh, okay, It's not yeah. literally a monkey sock, obviously, but you know, it's doing fun things with it so that um, it would deal well with a, a heavily variegated. Yeah, in I fact, think that one would, you know. The heavily variegated that, it, well not have it's, it's um, monotone, yeah. duo tone, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's white and then that pink, right? So, yeah. I mean, it's not a really stark contrast, but sometimes those are hard to deal with. Um, like with the um, Ms. Zombie that mm -hmm. I'm doing, right? Like when there's a real stark contrast between the two colors, sometimes the pattern itself doesn't shine through. Um, and the last one is I Love You More Than Pumpkin Spice Socks, um, which I, I really like the um, texture on the back and the cable up the front. I think that I personally would have to like take, take the patterning off the foot. It looks fairly thick. Okay. Um, but still very cute and I think that mm -hmm. you know and I could be wrong it just or just you could substitute like a mock cable or yeah, something yeah but I mean looking at the picture it just looked like uh oh mm -hmm. but just on my picky feet I thought we established I was the picky oh feet. well the top of my foot in yeah. shoes mm -hmm. um she's got links for special techniques on her website which is often very nice in case you were wondering um, and yeah, that's uh, javapearldesigns.com. Money shot. Ooh, 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 fun. Yes. I really like a lot of like the strawberries and cream and the mint, the peppermint and the pumpkin spice. Um, They're color coordinated. They are right there. Yeah. Yes. Very, very cute. Very cute. No, and definitely a lot of thought put into this book. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm just impressed, you know, you, you start out, you make a few patterns online, and then just to, I don't know, put your foot down and say, I'm making a book. Yeah, just super impressive, and um, congrats to her, yes. and it's, it's a fabulous book. Go check it out. Reasonable, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything under 20 to me mm -hmm. is reasonable for a book. Seven patterns. A pattern seven, book. Both toe up and top down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Retreat business. Retreat news. So much. So much is going on. Okay. Um, classes have been announced. Classes signups are going on soonly. Um, the 5K route is the same. Um, the information sheet just changed a little bit in the, the leaving time because we're so close to the start now at the Double Tree and get your time submission in. Mm -hmm. um, other going on? There's volunteers. Still, okay, volunteers. Um, Megan will need volunteers for the 5k. Um, I have a thread up there for the volunteers for the regular part. We've had a lot of interest in volunteering. Uh, I plan to take a look at everything this weekend and set out people's assignments. Mm -hmm. um, and that will be done via Ravelry Earburn. So you should get an earburn uh, if you've been assigned and you can take a look at um, where I have placed you. Mm -hmm. um, and again, thank you to everyone who's been volunteering, mm -hmm. um, including our super special um, yeah. goodie bag um, helper squad here in Rochester. Yep, and we've been so busy getting uh, all of that stuff ready and thing, 
donations have been arriving door pies donations have been arriving to my house there's still time to get those in if you'd yes. still like to be a sponsor so please contact us I'm doing the ticking and tying on that so you can contact me mm -hmm. um, yeah it's it's exciting we're getting down to it I think yeah. somebody had said X amount of Fridays and I said stop it <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta stop reminding so, me. Yeah, I'm so excited, but I think like mentally my mindset always just got to be like, okay, well we've got all of May and then we've got we had used to have quite a bit into June, right? Like almost the end of June was when we were. Right. And now we're at the smack dab you beginning of gotta June. Gotta reset that because yeah, yeah it's we <laughs> only have till the end of this month. Yep. Yep. It's already the sixth. <laughs> So much to do, but so much to look forward to as well. So excited. Yeah. Um, everybody's so willing to help and um, sat down with the hotel staff and went through yeah. for many hours <laughs> the room layouts and um, what we were going to be doing when. Uh, got several special surprises planned for folks, um, for everybody. So that's, yeah. that's fun. Few few different things this year from the past. Mm -hmm. So if you've been before, you don't know everything to expect. You don't. <laughs> We're still gonna throw some yeah. fun and exciting stuff at you. Um, but yes, ultimately just in prime time. If I'm not, if I'm at home, I'm not really knitting unless I'm trying to design and or I should be working on retreat stuff. Yes, so, yes. All the things surrounding the retreat must do. Yeah. To do lists, like you yeah. said, adding things. Trying to check them off. Check off, add five more, check off. Oh, yeah, more. yeah, that yeah. happens yep. a lot. So, yep. But again, we're not complaining. We're excited. Yes, we're having fun with it. But you've noticed a little lack of knitting. Yeah, it's the, the um, <laughs> throughput has dropped off. Yeah, that first knitting. <laughs> um, I'm trying to stick to my socks, but I have gotten to a little bit of the smaller socks mm -hmm. and, or the sport weight socks. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to keep up with it. So, all right. Alrighty. Bye. Bye, Ufta.